Hello everyone, welcome back to Padly and today our topic is how to recover big commerce abandoned carts with WhatsApp. So I'm running my big commerce store and I want to convert my abandoned carts into purchases and for that what I need to do is I need to send special message on WhatsApp to all my abandoned cart customers so that they can convert that abandoned cart into purchases. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a connection between big commerce and WhatsApp and here for sending the message on WhatsApp, I'm going to use WhatsApp Cloud API. So here I need to build this connection with Pabli Connect in such a way that as I'm going to receive an abandoned card from Big Commerce, then automatically by using that abandoned card detail and the detail of my customer, I'm going to receive that customer detail by using an action step by Big Commerce. And as I'm going to get all these details, then automatically I'm going to send a message on WhatsApp with some special offer. So how I'm going to build this connection and how I'm going to use Public Connect for building this automation. For that, let me take you to my computer screen. I hope all you can see my computer screen. And today we are going to see that how we can recover big commerce abandoned cards with WhatsApp. So recovering abandoned cards with WhatsApp for big commerce stores is a powerful strategy to boost your sales and improve customer engagement. So imagine I run an online store on big commerce and notice that many customers add items to their cards but leaves without completing the purchase. So recovering these abandoned cards can significantly increase my revenue, but sending follow-up emails often goes unnoticed. So by integrating Big Commerce with WhatsApp using Pabli Connect, I can send personalized reminders directly to your customer's phone where they are more likely to see and respond to them. So WhatsApp messages can include card details, exclusive offers and direct links to complete the purchase. So this will make it easy for customers to finalize their orders and in this video I will show you how to set up this integration to automatically send WhatsApp messages to customers who abandon their cards on BigCommerce store. So this approach helps you recover lost sales, enhance customer satisfaction and streamline the purchasing process. So here what I need to do is that as I'm going to receive a customer who is going to abandon the cart then automatically I'm going to send a message on WhatsApp to that particular customer with some offers or a personalized message and the store details so that he can automatically create a purchase and can convert that abandoned cart into a revenue. So here this is my big commerce store and now here for setting up this integration and this connection between big commerce and WhatsApp, I'm going to use Pabli Connect. And for sending the message on WhatsApp, I'm going to use WhatsApp Cloud API. So WhatsApp Cloud API is an official API platform by Meta and we are going to use WhatsApp Cloud API for sending the template messages. So here I need to set up this integration between Big Commerce and WhatsApp Cloud API and for that I need to use Pabli Connect and with the help of Pabli Connect I can build this connection and this integration without any coding and programming skills. So for using Pabli Connect I need to open a new tab and search for pabli.com slash connect in my browser and this will take us to this landing page of Pabli Connect. Now here we have two options, sign in and sign up for free. If we don't have any account with Pabli Connect, then we can just click on this sign up for free button and this will take only two minutes of our time and we will get 100 tasks free every month. Or if we already have an account or you are also an existing user like me, then you can just click on this sign in button and we will get to see this page. So these are all the apps that Pabli offers and we are going to use Pabli Connect here. For that, I need to click here on this access now button under Pabli Connect. And this will direct us to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now here in the dashboard, what I need to do is I need to create a new workflow. And for that, I'm going to click here on this create workflow button. And this window will pop up. Now here I need to name my workflow. So I'm going to name it as my objective, which is to Recover Big Commerce Abundant Cards with WhatsApp. Now what I need to do is, I need to select the folder where I want to save my workflow. So I'm going to open this tab and here in this tab, I will find all the folders that I have in my Public Connect account. And here I have this particular folder of WhatsApp Cloud API. So I'm going to select this and now I need to click on Create. And this will take us to this most important window of our workflow. Here we have two boxes, trigger and action. So these are the two main principles on which our workflow works on. And these are the two main building blocks of our workflow. So here trigger says when this happens, action says do this. So trigger is going to be the first step that will get executed in our workflow. And action is just going to follow that. 
So we need to first set up our trigger in our workflow and in our workflow we can only set up one trigger steps and multiple action steps. So for setting up the trigger what I need to do is I need to first search for my trigger application and here my trigger application is going to be BigCommerce. So I'm going to search for that and I need to select BigCommerce here. Now I need to give a trigger event so I'm going to open this tab and cart abandoned will be my trigger event so I'm going to select this. And now I'm going to connect BigCommerce with Pabli Connect in my workflow. So I'm going to click on connect and here I need to click on add new connection and for creating this connection between BigCommerce and Pabli Connect I need to give my client ID, access token and the store hash key. So first we are going to get the store hash key and for this I need to take you to my BigCommerce account and here this is my BigCommerce account and for the store hash key I need to go to my path URL. So here this is my path URL and after this store dash I have my store hash key. So I'm going to copy this till this dot and this is going to be my store hash key. So I'm going to go back to Pabli Connect and I'm going to paste that here in this tab. So I have filled my store hash key and now I need to give my client ID and the access token. So how I'm going to get my client ID and the access token. For that I need to log into my BigCommerce account which I have already did. And now for creating these details, I need to set the user as my store owner and I need to create a store API account. And for creating a store API account, you need to go to advanced settings and you need to click on API accounts. So how am I going to get these details? For that, let me take you to my BigCommerce account. Now here in BigCommerce, I will go to settings. So I'm going to open that. And now in settings, I'm going to scroll down. And here I have this option of API. So here I need to create a store level API account. So I'm going to open this option of store level API accounts. And here what I need to do is I need to create a new API account. So for that I'm going to click on create API account button. And here I need to give a name to my API account. So here the name of my API account will be abandoned cards. And now I need to select my scopes. So here I need to select some specific scopes so that I can only get the detail of the abandoned cards and my customer detail. So here I am going to select some specific scopes such as content. So I'm going to modify this. Now I'm going to select my scope as checkout content. Now I need to get this customer's details. So I'm going to modify that too. I have to modify information as settings as my scope. I am also going to select orders and order transactions. Now I need to modify cards and I need to modify checkouts. Also I have to modify the scope of products. So I'm going to modify that too. And now I need to click on save. And here we can see I have successfully generated my client ID and the access token. So I'm going to copy all these details and I'm going to paste that in Pabli Connect. So I'm going to do the same. And here I have filled all the required details. So I'm going to click on save. And I have connected BigCommerce with Pabli Connect. So here I have successfully connected BigCommerce with Pabli Connect. And now what I need to do is I need to click on save and send test token button. And here we can see it is waiting for response. So how I'm going to get this response? So for getting this response, I need to go to my BigCommerce store and I need to add a product in my cart and I need to abandon that cart. So as I'm going to abandon the cart, it is going to take some processing time of an hour and in an hour you are going to receive the response of the abandoned cart. So for creating an abandoned cart, I'm going to go to my store and here I'm going to buy a product. So I'm going to add this product of tired wire basket. So I'm going to add this to cart. I will go to checkout. And here in checkout, I'm going to add the detail of the customer. So here I need to first add the email address. So here the email will be dear demo at the rate pablitudes.com. So I'm going to click on continue. So here this is going to be my email address. And now I need to fill all these details. So here the first name will be dear. Last name will be demo. Now I need to give a phone number. So here I can give any shipping address detail. So I have added the first name and the last name. Now I'm going to give a random phone number of my customer. Also I have to give the address. So here my address will be Old Street and the city will be Bhopal. And here I have filled the country that is India. I'm going to select the state that will be Madhya Pradesh. And I'm going to give a random zip code. So I have filled the shipping address. Now I need to click on continue. And now billing address is default selected. Now here I have the option of making the payment and if I make the payment I will create an order but I don't want to create an order I want to abandon this card. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to abandon this card and I'm going to close this window. So I have closed my store and I have abandoned that card. Now what I need to do is I need to go back to public connect and here in public connect it is going to take some time to process the abandoned card and become a wait for an hour to confirm that the card is abandoned. And after that one hour as BigCommerce is going to confirm that the cart is abandoned, it is going to send that response automatically to Public Connect. So we need to wait for that time. And here we can see I have received this response. So here I have all these details like my store ID, I have the scope which is for abandoned, I have the hash key, also I have the data token. So this data token is an important information that we are going to use in our further step to get the detail of our customer and the abandoned card. Now here I have received this response from BigCommerce for the abandoned card and now what I need to do is I need to use these details to get the detail of my customer and the abandoned card. So for that what I need to do is I need to set up my action step. So I'm going to open this tab and here again I'm going to use BigCommerce as my action application. So I'm going to select BigCommerce here and now I need to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and here for getting the customer detail and the card detail, I'm going to run a custom API request. So I'm going to select this custom API request as my action event. So I'm going to select this and I'm going to connect BigCommerce with Public Connect in my workflow. So I'm going to click on connect and I have already built this connection between BigCommerce and Public Connect. So I'm going to use this existing connection. So I need to click on save and now I have all these details to run my API request. So for running this API request, I have an API document for BigCommerce for the abandoned cards. So I'm going to take you to that document and I'm going to add the link of this API document in my description so you can check it out from there. And now here I have all these details. So here for using the abandoned card detail and to get an abandoned card, I need to use this API request. So here this is going to be my API URL that I need to use and I need to use the method of get. So what I need to do is I need to first copy this API URL and I need to take you back to Public Connect. And now first by running this API request, I'm going to get my abandoned card. So for that, I need to first give my API endpoint URL. So I'm going to paste that API endpoint URL that I have copied from my document. And now in this API endpoint URL, I need to give my store hash key and the data token. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to first get my store hash key from my BigCommerce account. So I'm going to go back to BigCommerce and here in the path URL, I have my store hash key. So I'm going to copy this. I will go back to public connect and I'm going to clear this store hash key between these slashes and I'm going to paste my store hash key. Now here I have added the store hash key and now what I need to do is I need to give my data token. So first I'm going to clear this and now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this detail dynamic and I'm going to map the data token from my previous step. So here I'm going to use the data token that I'm receiving from my response of BigCommerce and I'm going to map that here in this tab. So for that I need to use mapping and what mapping is, mapping is a technique through which I can retrieve the data from the previous steps and the data that is changing will get replaced with the new data in the real time. So for mapping I need to open this response of BigCommerce and here I need this data token so I'm going to map this. And here I have completed my API endpoint URL. So by using this API endpoint URL, I'm going to get my cart ID. And as I'm going to get that cart ID, I'm, I need to use that cart ID to get all the detail of that cart abandoned. So here I have filled all the required details. Now what I need to do is I need to just scroll down and I need to click on save and send test request button. And here we can see I have received this data cart ID in my response. So here I have successfully run my API request and I have received my cart ID. Now what I need to do is I need to use this cart ID to get the detail of my abandoned cart. So for that I need to add one more action step. And here again I'm going to use BigCommerce. So I'm going to search for that. And I'm going to select BigCommerce. And again for getting the abandoned cart detail, I need to run my custom API request. So I'm going to open this tab. And again I'm going to use this custom API request as my action event. Now I need to click on connect and I'm going to use the existing connection. So I need to click on save and now for my API endpoint URL, I need to take you back to my API document of abandoned card. And now here I need to get my card details. So for that, I need to go to cards here. I need to go to card single 
and here I need to get a cart. So I'm going to select this option and here I need to run this API URL. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this API endpoint URL and here the method is of get two. So I'm going to go back to public connect and I'm going to paste that API endpoint URL here. And here I have selected my method as get. Now again, here I need to give my store hash key. So I'm going to go back to big commerce. I'm going to copy that store hash key. I will go back to public connect and I'm going to paste that here. Now we need to give them cart ID. So I'm going to clear this and I'm going to map the cart ID from my previous step. So I'm going to open this response of custom API request. And here, this is my data cart ID. So I'm going to map this. And now by using this API endpoint URL or this API request, I can get the cart detail. So I'm going to scroll down and here I need to toggle on the simple response button here. And I need to click on save and send test request button. Now here we can see I have received this response and in this response, I have this data ID and I have this email of my customer that is dear demo at the rate pablitudes.com. I have the amount of the product that is 119.95. Also, this is my base amount and the cart amount. And here I have my product name that is tired wire basket. So here I have received the detail of the product that I've added in my cart. And these are the detail of my cart. Also here I have the link of my product or my cart. And here I have my customer ID. Now here I have received all the detail of my cart. Now what I need to do is I need to get the detail of my customer. So for getting the detail of my customer, I need to use this customer ID. And by using this customer ID, I can get all the detail of the customer that I have in my BigCommerce store. So here I can only get the detail of the customer who has already signed up in my BigCommerce store and I have that customer as an existing user. So for that, what I need to do is I need to add one more action step. And again, I'm going to use BigCommerce. So I'm going to select that. And now I need to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab. And here I'm going to use this action event of get customer by ID. So I'm going to select this. And I need to connect BigCommerce with public connect. So I'm going to click on connect. I'm going to use the same existing connection and I need to click on save. Now here I need to map the customer ID and I'm going to map this from my previous steps. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to open this last custom API request. And here, this is my customer ID. So I'm going to map this. And now I need to click on save and send test request button. Now here with this customer ID, I can see I have received this detail. So here I have received all these detail only because I have this customer in my BigCommerce store. And this is an already existing customer in my BigCommerce store. So here I have received this response of my customer. And here I have the first name that is dear. I have the last name that is demo. And the email is deardemo at the rate pablitudes.com. And also I have the random phone number of my customer. So here I have received all these details of my customer. And here I have received this phone number, which is also an WhatsApp number of my customer. Now here I'm only going to receive this customer ID from this previous tab. If that customer exists in my big commerce store. So if that customer exists, then I'm going to get this customer ID in this response. And if that customer does not exist, then I'm going to receive the response of zero. So if the customer does not exist, then this customer ID here is going to be zero. So here, what I need to do is between these two steps, I need to set up a filter and I'm going to set up this filter only for the condition that I'm receiving this response for the existing customer. So if I'm not receiving my customer ID as zero, then it will mean that this customer already exists in my big commerce store and I can get the customer details. So I need to set up my filter. So for setting up my filter, I need to add one more action step between these two steps of big commerce. And here I'm going to use filter by Pabli. So I'm going to select that as my action application. And now I need to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and filter values will be my action event. So I'm going to select this. And now I need to connect filter by Pabli with Pabli connect. So I'm going to click on connect. And now I need to set up my filter and my condition by filling out my label, filter type and the value. So here for selecting my label, I need to open this tab. I'm going to open this last response of custom API request. And here this data customer ID is going to be my label. And now I need to give my filter type. So I'm going to open this tab and does not equal to will be my filter type. And here my value is going to be zero. 
So if I'm receiving my customer ID, which is not equal to zero, then it will mean that customer already exists in my BigCommerce store and I'm receiving the customer ID is for the already existing user and I can get the customer detail by running my get customer ID response. And now if I'm receiving this value of zero in my label of data customer ID, then it will mean that that customer does not exist in my BigCommerce store and I cannot get the detail of the customer. And if this label does not have the value of zero, then it will mean that this customer exists in my BigCommerce store and I can get the detail of my customer. Now what I need to do is I need to click on save and send test to this button. And here my status is success and my condition is true. So this means that my customer already exists in my BigCommerce store and I have got that detail of my customer by running this get customer by ID action step. Now here I have received all these details of my customer. Now what I need to do is I need to send a WhatsApp message to my customer. So for that I need to add my last action step. And here for sending the message on WhatsApp, I'm going to use WhatsApp Cloud API. So I'm going to select WhatsApp Cloud API here. And now I need to give an action event. So I'm going to open this tab and send template message will be my action event. So I'm going to select this. And I need to connect WhatsApp Cloud API with Pabli Connect in my workflow. So I'm going to click on connect. I will click on add new connection. And for connecting WhatsApp Cloud API, I need to give a token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. So how I'm going to get all these details and how I can set up my WhatsApp Cloud API account. For that, you need to click on this hyperlink by clicking on learn more. And here this will take us to forum of Pabli. Now here in this forum, we have all the detail and all the tutorial videos of connecting WhatsApp Cloud API with Pabli Connect and how we are going to get the details that are required to connect WhatsApp Cloud API with Pabli Connect. So here you can follow all these instructions and you can also see these tutorial videos to learn to get the details and to set up your WhatsApp Cloud API account with Pabli Connect. So I have already set up my WhatsApp Cloud API account. So I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. And now here I need the token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. So for this, let me take you to WhatsApp Cloud API. And here this is my WhatsApp Cloud API account. And here I have this access token, phone number ID and WhatsApp business account ID. So here I need to first refresh this access token. So I have refreshed this because this is a temporary access token. And you can generate the permanent access token by checking out the forum where we have the tutorial video of generating your permanent access token. Now what I need to do is I need to copy all these details and I need to paste that in Pabli Connect. So I'm going to do the same. And here I have filled all the required details. So I'm going to click on save. And here I have successfully connected WhatsApp Cloud API with Pabli Connect. Now here for sending the message, I need to first select my template name or my template. And for the template, I need to again take you to my WhatsApp Cloud API account. And here for getting all the template and for creating a new template, you need to open this hyperlink by clicking here and this will take us to WhatsApp manager where we will see all the message templates. So here I have created all these templates and if you haven't created any message template then what you need to do is you need to click on create template button and you need to follow all the instruction and by following all these instructions you need to customize the message that you want to use for sending the messages to your customer and after customizing the message and creating your template you need to take the approval of your template by Meta and after taking the approval, your template will look like this. So here I'm going to use this template of abandoned cards. So I'm going to open this. And here this is going to be my template and in this I have customized this message. So here the message is hi customer name. So this customer name is my variable and it is going to get changed all the time as I'm going to receive the detail of my customer. We noticed you left some great items in your shopping cart at Pabli's. So this was the name of my shop and also I have the message that says as a special thank you we are offering you an exclusive 10% off to complete your purchase use the coupon code save 10 at checkout and here I'm going to add the cart link which is also my variable hurry this offer is only valid for the next 48 hours if you have any questions or need assistance feel free to reply to this message happy shopping best regards team Pabli. So here I've customized this message and I'm going to use this message and I'm going to send this to my abandoned cart customers. So I'm going to take you back to Pabli Connect. And here in Pabli Connect for selecting the template, you need to open this tab. And here in this tab, you will find all the templates that you have in your WhatsApp Cloud API account. And I'm going to use this template of abandoned carts. And here the language code and the template ID is default selected. 
Now what I need to do is I need to give the recipient mobile number and here I'm going to map the mobile number from my previous tab of get customer by ID. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to open my last action tab of big commerce. And in this I have the phone number and the WhatsApp number of my customer. So I'm going to map this. And now here I need to fill my body field one and the body field two. So these are the field of my variables and here I need to add the name of my customer and the cart link. So here for the customer name, I need to click here. I will open this last action tab of big commerce. And here this is the first name of my customer that is dear. So I'm going to map this. I will give a space and I'm going to map the last name. Now similarly, I have to give the cart link. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to open the second response of custom API request. And here this is my cart link or the link of my product. So I'm going to map this. And here I have filled all the required details. Now as I'm going to receive new responses from my previous steps, then automatically all these details that I've mapped here are going to get replaced with the new detail in the real time. So I have successfully filled all the required details and I have mapped these details. So I'm going to click on save and send test request button. Now here we can see I have received this response. So this is a positive response and this means that I have sent a WhatsApp message automatically to my customer who has abandoned the card. Now to check whether I have sent a WhatsApp message or not, let me open WhatsApp. So here on WhatsApp, we can see I have received this message and the message is hi dear demo. So this was the name of my customer. We noticed you left some great items in our shopping carts at Pabli's. This was the name of my shop in big commerce. As a special thank you, we are offering you an exclusive 10% off to complete your purchase and use the coupon code SAVE10 at checkout. Also here I have my cart link and my message continues with hurry this offer is valid for the next 48 hours. If you have any questions or need assistance, feel free to reply to this message. Happy shopping. Best regards team Pabli. So here we can see that this was the message that I have added in my template and I have automatically sent that template message to my customer who has abandoned my cart in big commerce. And in this message, I have also added the special offer so that that customer can use that offer and can convert that abandoned cart into a revenue or complete their purchase. So first I'm going to open this link. And here we can see this link has taken me to this product that he has abandoned in the cart. And here we can see automatically by clicking on that link, he can make the purchase. Now I'm going to take you back to WhatsApp. And here we can see I have automatically connected BigCommerce with WhatsApp in such a way that as I'm going to receive a customer detail who has abandoned the cart in my BigCommerce store, then automatically as I'm receiving that abandoned cart detail, I can send a WhatsApp message with some offers so that I can leverage that customer into making a purchase. So here I've successfully created this automation and this connection between BigCommerce and WhatsApp. And here I've sent this message with the help of WhatsApp Cloud API. And now as I'm receiving new customer details from big commerce who are going to abandon the card, then automatically I'm going to send WhatsApp messages by using WhatsApp Cloud API with some offers so that they can change their mind and can convert their abandoned card into a purchase. Now let me take you back to Public Connect. And here in Public Connect, I have successfully created this connection between big commerce and WhatsApp Cloud API to recover big commerce abandoned cards with WhatsApp. So let's summarize what we did here. So first I've set up my trigger and my trigger application was big commerce and my trigger event was card abandoned. Then I've set up my action steps and in my action application, I have first used big commerce and here I have run some custom API request to get the customer detail and the card detail. Then I've set up my filters so that I can only get the detail of the customer who are already an existing customer in my big commerce store. And then I have again used big commerce as my action application to get the customer detail by ID. And in the last, I have used WhatsApp Cloud API as my last action application. And here I have used send template message as my action event. So this is how I have successfully created this workflow. And you can also create this workflow by following all the steps that I did in my workflow. And I'm also going to put the link of my workflow in the description. So you can check it out from there. And thank you for watching this video. Not just these application, you can automate and integrate a lot more application like this by using Pabli Connect. So if you want to reach out to us, then email us at support at the And if you have any queries, then you can write us at forum.pabli.com. And if you have any issue with the pricing, then you can visit this link. And if you like this video, then please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.